Hi folks, thank you for checking out my video. Today I am going to do a walkthrough on how to remove your ceiling light fixture and install a ceiling fan with a remote control and lighting. Stay tuned and I will walk you through the whole process. The fan that I will be installing today is a Hampton Bay Smart 54 inch LED indoor fan. This fan uh, comes with a remote control as well as the ability to be connected to Wi-Fi such as Alexa, Hey Google and Hub Space. It is a brush nickel finish and it also has the capacity to change different colors uh, to the lighting as well. So this fan has an airflow capacity of 4,306 of cubic feet per minute. It also comes with two blade options. One is the gray wash oak and then a dark oak. So my room size is 12 by 12. It's a perfect fit for my room. If your room is smaller, like so, 10 by 10, you might consider a smaller fan. If your room is bigger than my room, like a 20 by 20, you might consider getting a bigger size fan. So I just unbox the fan. As you can see here in the middle is the LED lighting fixture and underneath that is the motor assembly itself. Beautiful looking. We have some wiring and this is the decorative collar that will be attached to the uh, down rod in a moment. And then you have LED lighting cover which goes on top like that. And this is the down rod for the installation. You will have to attach this to the bracket up on the ceiling, as well as the canopy. This will go up on the ceiling along with the down rod. The fan comes with a remote control. This is the remote control, some batteries here, and remote control receiver. And finally, we have the blade. The blade comes with two color options. You have the gray side, a darker side here. With that, let's get the assembly going. The steps that I'm going to walk you through is similar to the format provided by the manual here, but you'll get a visual presentation of the installation process. Step number one is attaching the blades. So step number one in the manual asks you to install the blade to the motor assembly, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, at this point, I'm going to remove the LED fixture first. And that's because in order to install the blade onto the motor assembly, you have to put this on a flat surface. So here you have the glass protective cover for the LED. If you went ahead and put this on the surface like that, you will break the glass. There's glass here you can't see. I don't want to break that. So I'm going to remove this part first and then still going to use this here to mount the motor assembly on while I remove the screw to the uh, LED. So basically there are T-holes here. You can simply loosen the, the screws here that are tied to the keyholes and then just remove the LED fixture. You have to remove this one here, right? So that doesn't come out. Like so, okay. There are two wires that you can just unplug. So let's take this off. Kind of screw this back on so that you don't lose it. And you have to loosen it later when you, when you reinstall this piece. So now that you remove the LED fixture, you can place the cardboard ring back on and then uh, put it on a surface like this. It gives it a little protection and this glass piece here won't break. So next we're going to install the blades. I decided on the darker color. I think it will look nice in my room. This is what the motor assembly looks like. So basically you choose the color that you want and then you simply insert the blade into these slots here, okay? These openings on the side, like so. And then simply screw them in. Okay, so this is what the manual calls for. It's the first step is to install the blades. So other fans, uh, you don't have to install the blades first, but this fan, you do have to install the blade first. I don't see any other options. So it will add an extra weight when you have to connect this to the ceiling. This is my last plate to be installed. You want to take it slow in this part. You want to do it right. You don't want to have to come back later on after this is on the ceiling and have to fix it. So you want to be patient and make sure that you do it right. All right, so this is beautiful. Nice and tight. Everything is snugly fit and it's good. So this is step one, but you do have to take the LED fixture out of the way so that you can work on it and you don't break the lighting fixture. 
Step number two is removing the hanging ball from the down rod. Step number two, this is the down rod here, and the black part here on top is the hanging ball. The instruction asks you to unscrew this here or loosen it so that you can take this part off the rod. So I'm just going to loosen up the screw here. I'm not going to take it off, but just loosen it. Oh, there we go. There's also a pin here as well, right, that fits right in there. Take out the pin and you can take it out. Cool. Step number three is preparing the standard mounting. So this is the canopy and it comes with the bracket. The instruction asks you to take this uh, part by removing the bottom part here. The bottom part here is magnetic, that's what it says. So you can easily just remove it. It's actually, is, it is magnetic, look at that. Boom. And uh, take it out. So once you take it out, there's uh, two screws with keyholes. Just loosen it and turn around, twist it, and the brackets will come off from the canopy from these two keyholes here. So the next step is to route these wires through the down rod, kind of insert it like so. Well, I mean, you can loosen this first. Well, this is going to require a, um, a flat screwdriver. Just loosen it up like so. Don't take it off so that you can insert the down rod in there. And then you turn this clockwise. There we go. All the way in, really tight. All right, so once that's in, you can tighten the screw here. Be careful, you don't want to hurt your finger. So I'm moving my fingers out of the way. Up sharp objects. Ah, you see it? Boom. Nice. Wires in. So now the next step would be step number five on the manual, and that is to assemble the fan. So next is to install the decorative cover, right? So before I do that, I wanted to point out there's a switch here to reverse the fan for summer and winter. So if you want the fan to push the air down during the summertime, you turn this downward and this this is sort of a factory setting in the winter time if you want to uh, bring the air up you can switch this upward like so okay so right now i'm putting it downward uh, as factory setting so now is to place the decorative cover on the down rod insert the wire through like so and then just press it down like so all the way down and it just sit on top like that. There's nothing to screw it in. Okay, next is to install the canopy. Remember it has a little bottom, magnetic bottom here that we pull off. So just gonna attach it like that and then put it in there, temporary at this point. And then install the, the hanging ball. I'm gonna put this, this little pin here in there and have this to one side like so. And now you screw that in tightly, really tight. Uh, just be careful, okay? You don't want to hurt yourself here. So now that's tight, and the pin is also in there as well. Okay, so this is basically the assembly. The bracket is still here, but once you're ready to assemble this to the, uh, the ceiling, and you basically just slide the ball over like that, and bring this whole thing up, attach it to the, uh, the bracket, and from there, you get your ceiling fan. The next phase now is we're going to remove the current ceiling fixture so that we can install this fan. Okay folks, so before you remove the fixture, you wanna make sure that you turn off the circuit breaker. Safety is very important here. So what I usually do, just to make sure I don't get electrocuted or shocked, I will leave this light on like this. Just leave it on for now. Go down to the circuit breaker and find the breaker that will turn off this light because you want to make sure that when you're working on a circuit, there's no electricity coming through. So I'm going down to uh, the circuit breaker to turn it off. And when I come back up, this should be off. And if it's on, that means I turn off the wrong circuit breaker. So let's go downstairs and turn off the circuit breaker. This is my circuit breaker. Usually the breaker will come with labeling. It will tell you approximately which room the breaker is on. So here's the label, let me take a look. Um, my master bed is circuit breaker number 12. 
right so I'm going to look for number 12 and number 12 is here I'm going to turn it off boom it's off let's go upstairs so here we are okay so the light is off that means I turn off the right circuit breaker and I could feel safe to work on the, uh, the light fixture and before I do that I'm going to turn every switch off see this was on earlier but I'm going to turn it off um, I'm going to make sure all the all the switches are off in this room just to be safe you're going to need a ladder not unless you are very tall for this lighting fixture easy to remove yours might be different basically there's two three screws here there and then remove it like so this is an LED lighting fixture comes off like so so after you remove the ceiling light fixtures from the bracket you do want to test the circuit just for added safety here you can use either one of these devices the one I'm holding right now is the no contact AC voltage detector and this can also detect uh, DC as well at 24 volts so what you do is while the lighting fixture is still attached you want to uh, turn it on to AC mode right here which is green and then just run it along the lines and if there is electricity uh, coming through the line this device will detect it and will give you a beeping sound and if there's no electricity then it won't be so just in case you don't have this one here most people have the multimeter you can use the multimeter as well just in case you don't know how to use a multimeter you want to turn the multimeter to AC voltage mode the meter has two lines one is red and one is black red is for the live wire so you would connect the red to the live wire live wires on the ceiling circuit are usually black or red and then the next wire here is the black wire and that's the common wire the common wire is then connected to the neutral wire and that's usually the white wire coming off the ceiling so if there's any electricity it will show on a monitor here and if it's not it will just basically show zero and that would be an indication that it is safe to go ahead and work on the uh, circuit so just to do that second test for safety so you basically run the uh, no contact detector along the wires and so there's no electricity coming through that's why it's not beeping okay so it's pretty safe I mean I feel confident now I can touch it like so see there's, there's no electricity coming through if you don't have no contact detector you can use the multimeter as you can see here you have four wires black wire copper wire here the red wire and the white wire so the black and red both of these are live the white one here is the neutral wire the return wire and then you have the ground wire okay the reason why there are four wires here because the builder was anticipating that someone will place a ceiling fan out here one of the light wires is dedicated to the fan the motor itself and the other one will be for the light uh, in this case it's uh, perfectly matched because my fan does have fan and the lighting fixture as well so you want to connect the common first which is the black wire to the to the return wire and then you know you turn it on to AC mode and you kind of tap it to the uh, or clamp it on like so so at this point there's no reading and I'm good I'm not going to even touch this because I'm not going to use this so I feel confident there's no electricity coming through to work on the circuit let's install a fan so once you have the bracket onto the ceiling next step is to connect the receiver to the remote control for the bracket you simply slide it in like so screw it in okay cool the hanging ball of the uh, down rod will just fit right into here okay like I said I'm not going to use the um, the black wire so I'm just going to hide this in there boom so now I'm just going to work with the red live wire and the neutral wire I'm going to install the receiver to the remote control there's two wires coming out from here and then these three wires um, circuit here so these two wires here will be connected to these two wires here right I'm going to connect the white wire to the white the black wire coming from the receiver is going to be connected to the red wire now again 
I'm just using red because it's connected to my metal switch. But you can also use a black as well. It's up to you. So if your fan doesn't come with a receiver or remote control, you don't have to do this part here. But if you have a fan that has, you know, the string, you know, for the lighting portion of it, then you have to connect the red wire to the fan and the black wire to the lighting. Okay, so it, it depends. And then the white wire to the return wire of that circuit. All connected, as you can see, there'll be three wires coming from the receiver and this will be connected to the fan assembly. So now that this is plugged, I'm going to kind of shove all the, uh, the two lights, I mean the two wiring, get it out of the way. So this way I have plenty of room to work with. The rod here, you just plug it in like that. And then you rotate it until you hear a click. There we go, you hear that drop? So now it's in place. And then I'm going to put this receiver back in place. Here we go, perfect. Okay, antenna from the receiver up here. And then I'm going to kind of let this guy stick up here for, for a while. So remember this wire here? The rod also has this wire here coming off from the assembly. And so you simply plug the three wires here together. There's only one way in and one way out. Ground wire right here. So I got the ground wire here and then I'm going to connect it to the wire coming from the wall. Okay. Nice and clean. All right, cool. The next step is to push the canopy and remove this because remember there's two screws there you want to align the keys with the screw there we go perfect and then just rotate it like that okay there's two keys here and there's two screw protruding out uh, screw this in and you can move the fan so that you can use the screwdriver to tighten you can move it to tighten the the canopy Cool. Once the two screws are in place, simply pull this up, bottom cover. There you go, beautiful. So from here, we can just put in the LED and then turn it on and see if it's gonna work. All right, so let's take a look at what we have here. So that is what it should look like. So next we're going to install the LED lighting itself. Connect the LED. Uh, plug these wires together like so. You insert the LED into the key slots like so. And then kind of rotate it and let it click. So you want to make sure these screws are all tight because you want to eliminate any potential rattling or noise. So next step now is to install the uh, cover to the LED. Just kind of, kind of find your way. There we go, I think I got it. Boom. All right, so I think uh, installation is done. Let me go downstairs and uh, turn off the circuit breaker and turn this baby on and see if it's gonna work. All right, so here's a big moment. I already turned on the circuit breaker. So now I am going to turn on the fan. Now the fan has four speed levels. When you press the remote control, it'll show up on the LED light indicator on the remote control here. So I'm going to turn the fan on right now. Whoa, it's beautiful. It's working, awesome. So now the fan is operating at level four. As you can see, the, uh, the light indicator here all four shows up earlier. I'm standing right underneath. So what I'm listening for is the sound. I wanna make sure that this fan is really quiet. I'm going to spend a lot of time underneath the fan during the day and at nighttime I'll be sleeping underneath the fan here. So it's important that the fan is as quiet as possible. It's actually pretty quiet. You're hearing the sound of air circulation, nothing mechanical, so that's awesome. So now let's go to stage two. Actually stage three, as you can see on the button here. It slows down a little bit, really quiet. I love it. Let's go to level two, boom. 
one level two, really quiet. You can hardly hear anything. Now let's do number one. Level one is the slowest level here. You cannot hear anything at all. I'm quite happy that this fan is actually really quiet. So now let's turn on the, um, the lighting options. The fans comes with multiple options in terms of color to the lighting. So let me turn on the light and so you guys can see what it looks like. Whoa, it is really bright. This is really bright. I'm shooting this during the daytime and it literally light up my room here. Now I'm going to choose different coloring options here to the, to the lighting, different tones. So this is bright. This is another bright level as you can see. It changes a little bit. And this is kind of bluish. Now you get the uh, kind of the yellowish light. A little bit of yellow lights here. And then finally back to square one. It also has the option for you to set the amount of hours that you want the fans to be on. And here you have two, four to eight hours. And as well as the options to have the fan on various speeds throughout the night if you want to leave it on at night time. There you have it. I hope you enjoyed the video. The fan is running smoothly. With that, thank you so much for your time and I look forward to seeing you again soon.